Let's talk about long exposure photography and light painting. To create this beautiful photos, the shutter speed of the camera is set to something very slow, such as 10 seconds or 20 seconds, so that the sensor will collect any light information coming to it for a long amount of time, and all will be summed together in one image. That's why even though the light source is just a bar, it is looking like a streak. If you want to create this in Unreal Engine, it's your lucky day. So it should be easy, right? Let's just go to the post processing volume. Set the shutter speed to 10 seconds. So in this case, 1 hour seconds, 0.1, and it should be all fine. Well, okay. Well, we can create the streak in Blender by creating a plane and make it follow a cool path and map some emissive texture to it. The problem with this is that an emissive texture doesn't emit any real light in the 3D space of Unreal Engine. So we might take it with rectangular lights that roughly follow the street and set their specular intensity to zero. Or if you fancy using Niagara or Cascade or whatever, create some emissive ribbon particles, make the emitter follow a weird path and set them to not fade away over time. And again, add some rectangular lights on top. Well, these are cool and all, but let's take it to another level. So in this example, I've created a new light, kind of mimics a light bar in real life, which has a pivot point at the bottom, and attached to this, there's the stick. And there's an em emissive plane that has a texture LED light. At the same position of this, there's another rectangular light, which shares the same source texture and perfectly matches with it in 3D space. And then if you go to the sequencer, let's open the first camera. I think I should adjust the camera so that you can see a bit better. Perfect. Since in the real life, while we were waiting for shot to collect the light from different positions of this uh, light bar every time. So if you keyframe this with the light bar I showed you in the beginning and make it move in the background of this beautiful 911 with random orientations and shit, then we would have the collection of the, all of the photos of this long shot separated down to frames of this video. And every frame contains the information of this light bar at a given different coordinate. After we save this image, and we can save it from here. Files will look something like this. And if we put all of them back to back, we will combine them in a special way in Photoshop. First few pictures have a lot of noise, so if you're going to sum all these together, the ones with the noise will look bad, so I'll skip those. Back in the magical world of Photoshop, you can import all of these pictures into one files into a stack. So like I said, I'll skip the first noisy ones and import all of the others. And this will take some time. Now I know this looks too cumbersome, but in the end, results are amazing. And now Photoshop will add all of these images on top of each other one by one. So this way we can also get rid of the noise too, and I'll show you that later on. So let's wait for all of them to open. And yep, yeah, so this is done. And as you can see, it's created all of the images as new layers. So if we select them all and convert them to smart object. So after this, we have few options to work with smart objects with different layers inside. And this is called the stack mode. So in this case, we are going to take maximum. And maximum means that it is going to take the highest value between all of the images for each given pixel. In this case, the red light passing through the background will have the highest value among all of the other images so that it will combine them together. And it looks incredible. For the noise stuff that inevitably created by ray tracing, it takes the highest value pixel for each of noisy pixels here, or for example, in the, in the cockpit. In Unreal Engine, ray trace refraction has a lot of noise. So that's why in the first place, I kind of wanted to avoid using these kind of first few images. When we would pick the maximum stack mode, then this would use highest values here, and that wouldn't look good at all. So now we have this as a perfect image, but I want to play with it a little bit more. Before doing this, actually, let's take it back and duplicate it. And then let's create a one with the maximum, and this will be the same. And let's create a one with other stack mode called mean. So this will take the average of every pixel inside this smart object. So this will average out all of the noise in this image. 
we have a very smooth image here. Just one thing left, and that is to blend these two together. I will rasterize this. I'm just painted over the areas that you want cleaner version of this image. And then it'll be done. And with a little bit of editing, this will look something like this. <laughs> 